what a beautiful morning. I knew the tides were going to go out and figured our sirus would be on the beach when we woke up. But man, these were really on the beach. Like 15 feet up the beach. Better on the beach than somewhere loose in the ocean, I guess. But you know the saying, the more the merrier. This definitely applies to the situation because it wasn't hard at all to unbeach these babies when you have eight people. It was amazing just to be able to camp on a secluded island in the Bahamas. The only thing inhabiting that island was iguanas. Other than them waking me up early in the morning making a bunch of racket, they were pretty cool roommates. Now time to pack up and head over to Highborn K Marina to fuel up, then explore Pablo Escobar's sunken plane. Who knows, maybe we can find a suitcase full of money. So we just filled up in Highborn, 7.38 a gallon, $106. Cha-ching, and then um, experience, priceless. All right, as you can see over there, there's some nice beaching areas, especially over there. But this is a private island, so no camping. Um, they do have a lot of rental places around here, but I think it's a little high dollar. If you have the budget for it, then go on and do it, because I would. But we ended up camping, got a good experience. It wasn't too bad at all, as long as you have fresh water to clean yourself. And there's a little bit of a breeze, and you have a mattress to sleep on. You can probably sleep, even sleep outside. Let's go. <laughs>
Here we are off the island of Norman's Cay. In the 1970s and the beginning of 1980s, the island mainly consisted of only an airstrip, which was believed to have been built by the famous Pablo Escobar. This airstrip was placed on Norman's Cay for its perfect location between Colombia and Miami, which provided refueling for the Kingpin's international drug ring. During another routine flight while transporting cocaine on November 15, 1980, the World War II error aircraft crashed into the Cay's shallow sandbanks. There were no casualties and the millions of dollars worth of narcotics were salvaged shortly after. Over time, an ecosystem developed on the Curtis C-46 Commando, filling it with coral and fish. This famous drug-running airplane wreckage has become an exciting spot to snorkel and a popular tourist site in the Bahamas. Depending on the tides, the plane usually sits on a depth around 10 feet below the surface, making it one of the most fascinating and easily accessible dive sites in the region. But today, the current is very strong, so we have to be extra careful. All right, so the plane was really nice. Now we're off to Daniel Bay. Gonna check out the rest of the island, cruise in the turquoise waters, and enjoy the view.
Oh yeah, I, I am so glad to be in Staniel K already. And look how beautiful the water is. And look how cute this is right below our cottage. Um, I feel so nice and refreshed, showered up. I said, oh, I'm not riding the Sea-Doo today. We already made several stops in the Exumas, taking photo ops, videos for you guys. And oh my gosh, look at that. Perfect parking no, there are valet there are right here. Look and look, and this is our cottage. Y'all really have to check out um, Staniel K. Chamberlain cottages. And the owners are super nice. And they have like a four or five, it's very affordable. And now we're on our way to the restaurant near the marina. So. Okay guys, so they have a liquor store with the laundromat. So have cocktails at the same time while you wash your clothes here on Staniel K. I love this. I love this idea. <laughs> hey, so what was Charles doing? Huh? What was, hey, was Charles doing to Charles, your beer? Charles was saying, I'm going to have a beverage. <laughs> no, what did he do to your beer? Yeah, come on. He took advantage of your beer. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do At the laundromat, it only happens at the laundromat, guys. Forget, forget the bar. And look, you may even see some um, sharks over here. The little nurse sharks. Forever young. That's how I feel. Here. Oh, there they are. Look at the sharks. There they are. Ooh. 
Hanging out at night in Staniel K is just as beautiful as hanging out during the day. It becomes very lively at the yacht club with the band or just live music. Now time to get some rest because we've got some exploring to do tomorrow. Stay tuned for the next episode and make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, give me a like also. See you on the next episode.